Hello and welcome to our webcast. Uh, I'm Madeline Gepp. I am the Training and Social Media Coordinator here at Web Fortis. Um, and today I'm going to be talking about the Outlook client. So let me tell you a little bit about Web Fortis. Uh, we are Web Fortis. We have a couple different offices up and down the West Coast um, in Santa Rosa, Sacramento, uh, Walnut Creek, LA, and most recently Seattle. Our CEO has written three books. Uh, the most recent one came out not too long ago. Um, the other two have been on Amazon and, um, and Barnes and Noble's bestseller list. Um, and as far as Web Fortis goes, we can do all that you need as far as implementation, customizations, training, importation, anything that you need that has to do with Microsoft Dynamics CRM, we do it. Um, so today we're going to be talking about the Outlook client, but I want to point out our um, upcoming events. Um, in February, we're going to be talking about personalizing CRM, and we also have free CRM training every Wednesday. Um, also, if you're in the Southern California area, we have our road show going on um, in Irvine, and that'll be next week, and you can go to our website and sign up for that. So w what is CRM? CRM is all about the relationships and interactions um, you have with your customers and it keeps track of all of that. And it's process driven, um, so going from turning leads into customers and creating quotes for them, uh, following up on cases, etc. And it also allows um, collaborative work between your teams. Um, so your marketing team is on the same page as your sales team, which is on the same page as your uh, service team um, so everyone knows exactly what's going on. So today we're going to be talking about inserting sales literature into new emails um, and flagging emails um, and, and track received emails and also accessing your CRM from within Outlook. So let's go ahead and get started and the first thing I'm going to show you is how to get CRM uh, into your Outlook. So I'm going to go ahead and close my Outlook. And I'm going to go to our web page. And at www.webfortis.com slash links, you'll be able to see this page. Um, you can go ahead and click on CRM 2011 Outlook client. And if you have the 34 bit of uh, Outlook, you'd go ahead and click the first one. If you have the 32, you'd click the second one. Um, after you do that, you're going to go ahead and download. Um, this is going to download the configuration wizard. You can get there by going to your programs, Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011, and hit configuration wizard. From here, you'll be able to add, and then you're going to want to go to CRM online and hit test connection. When you hit test connection, it's going to go ahead and shoot out and look for your Windows Live ID. If you've already entered one, it's going to pull that in. If you don't, it's going to ask you for your Windows Live ID and password. If not the right Windows Live ID um, comes in, you're going to go ahead and hit change. And that'll prompt you with a window where you'll be able to change your uh, Windows Live ID. And then in organization, it's going to give you all of the organizations you're associated with. You can go ahead and choose one, hit the display name here, um, and you'll want to synchronize with this organization, and that's going to allow you to have all the functionality um, between CRM and Outlook. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this and close, and let's go into my Outlook. I have Outlook 2010. Um, if you have 2007, it's going to look slightly different. Um, and to access my CRM, I'm just going to have to open my Outlook. There's no other part to it. We already associated by going into the Outlook client. Um, we already associated our CRM with our Outlook. And we only have to do that once. Once it's in there, you don't have to touch it again. It'll always be in there. So now I have my... Outlook client here. I'm going to go ahead and select this email here. And this is an email from a possible lead. 
So I'm going to go ahead and hit track. And by hitting track, that's going to go ahead and put it into CRM, but it's not telling um, CRM where we want it to go. So from here, I could go ahead and hit convert to, and I can convert it into an opportunity, a lead, or a case. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this into a lead by clicking lead. It's going to take all the information and put it in here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And this is going to open the lead form. And in the lead form, we can input a more data if we would like. Um, we could also go to closed activities, and we'd be able to see the email that we had tracked um, right here. So we'd be able to refer to all of our past emails with this um, lead. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And the next thing I'd like to talk to you about is the sales literature section of CRM. So to get there, I'm going to go to sales and go into sales literature, which is right here. So I have already created one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this one up. If you'd like to create an entirely new one, you can go ahead and select new. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this one up. I've already given it a title, Info for Leads. And um, if you create a new one, you'll want to title it and then hit the Save button, and that's going to activate um, these over here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Sales Attachments. And this is going to list all of the sales attachments that are in my CRM. And to add a new sales attachment, I can go to New Sales Attachment. Let's go ahead and give it a title. And then we could go ahead and hit browse. And by hitting browse, I'll be able to access all the files that are in my computer. I'm gonna go to my desktop and select um, my Parrot pricing. Click open, hit attach, and save and close. So now that's gonna associate um, info for leads with packages and Parrot info. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. And let's go back to that lead that we had created earlier. So I'm going to go to leads. So if I want to send the lead that we created earlier, um, these packages, I'm going to go ahead and open the lead that we had created earlier. And we have the email address right here that was brought in. So I'd be able to double click that. And is what double clicking on the email address is going to do is that's going to bring up the um, new email form from Outlook. So from here, we'd be able to automatically put in the, um, in the name. And we can go ahead and track it in CRM. And we can add sales literature. And I'm going to go ahead and hit info for leads here. And that's going to take both of those documents and put them in here. Um, so sales, um, attached sales literature allows you to create packages of PDFs that you're constantly sending. It's also gonna allow you to have the most up-to-date um, sales literature in your CRM. Um, so if many people are sending them out, you always have the most up-to-date uh, sales literature. It's also going to allow for uh, people who are sending this out to be able to find it easily instead of searching on your desktop for um, this document, this document, this document, you'd be able to find uh, the correct ones and you'd be able to send it out. So let's go ahead and close out of this. And the next thing that I'd like to show you, I'm going to go back into my inbox and I'm going to select an email here. If this is an email that I want to put into CRM, um, into an already existing customer or account, I can go ahead and hit the set regarding button and that's gonna bring up all of the records that I can set regarding uh, this email to. So I can set it regarding an account, a campaign, campaign activity, a lead, a contact, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and associate with an account, hit best of things, hit OK. So now if I go to the best of things account and go into their closed 
into the closed activities, I'd be able to find this email. Another thing I'd like to point out is the icons here and how they change when I hit either track or set regarding. Um, this icon right here is a, uh, is a CRM icon um, and that will notify you that this email and this person is already in CRM. So now I want to talk about um, I want to talk about the settings and importing your contacts into CRM. So I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go to CRM. And one thing to note is that your CRM contacts are separate from your Outlook contacts. So even though your CRM is in your Outlook, um, there is a difference between the two, and this allows you to have personal um, contacts within your within your Outlook. Um, and not allow um, other users of your CRM to access that information. Although, you can go ahead and import your contacts by going to File, CRM, Import Contacts, and hit Add Contacts. And this is going to take you through the Add Contacts wizard where you'd be able to choose which contacts you would like to put into CRM. So while we're in file and CRM, I want to point out the options and there's two main options that we get questions about all the time. So right now I am in the general section and I'm going to point down to the records per page. A lot of times if you have a couple hundred, a couple thousand uh, records, it's easier to have more records per page than to page through. So um, to change the number of records per page, you're going to want to go to general records per page and let's change this to 250. So that's how you would do that. The other thing I would like to talk about is in the email section. Um, and I had talked about tracking emails. One question we get a lot is, is it possible to have all of the emails automatically go into CRM? Um, to do that, we're going to go to the email section and where it says check incoming emails in Outlook, we're going to want to check that box and that's going to allow us to um, access to change this as well. Um, so there are a few different options in the track section and we can choose to track all email messages, although we do not recommend this because that um, tracks every single email that comes into your outbox, into your inbox, including personal emails, junk mail, anything that you may receive is going to go and be put into CRM. Um, the one that we recommend is email messages in response to email, CRM email. So that allows you to hit track once and then once someone replies to that message and then you reply to that, they reply, you reply, etc. That's all, that chain of emails is all going to be put into CRM. So at this point, I want to talk about one more feature that is in CRM uh, Outlook that you can't get from the online version. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of there. And I'm going to go ahead and go into leads. And I'm going to go ahead and set up the conditional formatting. And I want to point out that you can do this for any view, any uh, list of records that is within your CRM. You can also do this for your inbox um, in Outlook. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my leads here just as an example and I'm going to go ahead and choose view and hit view settings. From here I'm going to go ahead and hit conditional formatting. I'm going to add a new rule so I'm going to hit add and I'm going to call this hot. So now I'm going to go to font and here I can tell my system um, what I want the font to look like, what I want um, these records to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the gothic here, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to make it turn red. I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to go ahead and hit condition and this is where I'm going to tell um, the system when I want it to turn that um, font and that color and that size. So I'm going to go into advanced, hit field, user defined field, and I am going to go to rating. So rating, this is going to be my, um, my qualifier. I'm going to say is 
hot. I'm going to add that to the list, click OK. So now I'm going to go ahead and close out of that, close out of that, and as you can see all of my um, leads that have a rating of hot are now turned red. They're slightly bigger and they are that gothic font. So I'm going to, let's go back to my PowerPoint and we are all done and I am going to open it up for questions. Um, but before I do that, I want to remind you again of our upcoming events and um, our, our uh, weekly Wednesday at 10 um, training, which you can sign up for on our website, hit the events um, button. And you can get to our website at www.webfortis.com. You can visit our, web, uh, our Facebook page at facebook.com slash webfortis LLC. Um, our Twitter account, twitter.com slash webfortis. I'm Madeline Gap. You can reach me if you have any questions at mgap at webfortis.com. And below is our phone number. So I'm going to open it up for questions at this point. And you can also type it in the, the chat box below. Okay, it's a little quiet, so I'm going to end it here. Um, thank you for joining us, and I hope to see you at our next event.